Okay, so page four gives you these graphs to look at and they want you to answer questions on the next few pages about them. Okay, so key thing to remember based on what they're saying up here, all of these are the derivative graphs. They're not the original, they're the derivative, okay? Um, so they gave us number one. It says the graph of g of x would be increasing on zero to four and which graphs show that? Okay, so the graphs that show that are e, g, j, and k because these graphs are all positive on zero to four. So if you're looking for where G, the original one will be increasing, you're looking for graphs that show it being positive the whole time. So E is above the x-axis the whole time. G is, so is, ooh, where is it at? There's J and K. All right, so those are all places where the derivative is always positive, so that makes me the function's increasing. Okay, so number two says where would G of X be decreasing, or which graph show that? So if you look at f and h, and that's because they are both negative, okay? So if you look at f, it's below the x-axis, and so is h, okay? So both of these must be the functions decreasing. All right, number three says you're looking for where g of x would be constant on 0, 4. Okay, so it's a trick question because none of these are actually going to work for that because none of them are equal to 0 the whole time. Okay, so don't be fooled by this one. K is positive, so that means it's increasing. Okay, and it means that like it just has a steady slope of apparently two. Okay, that's not a constant function. Remember, the derivative of constant is zero, so we should be looking for a graph that equals zero, and none of them do. So it's not gonna be on there. All right, number four says you're looking for concave up. Okay, so for this one, you're looking for where the derivative is increasing the whole time on zero to four, okay? So like A is increasing the whole time, so that's concave up. All right, C is increasing the whole time, so is I, all right, and so is J. So those are all concave up, okay? And then the opposite of that, concave down, you're looking for where it's decreasing the whole time, so B is decreasing on the whole interval, and so is D. So both of those would be saying the graph is concave down the whole time. All right, then it says we're looking for a graph where y would have a local max at 2, okay? So b and d are the only ones that do that, and that's because you went from positive to negative, positive to negative at x equals 2 in both of them, okay? So that's where you have a maximum. All right, if we move on to the next questions. All right, number 7 says look for a local minimum at 2. Okay, so this is the opposite of the one we just did. So you're looking for graphs that show it going from negative to positive at two. So A goes from negative to positive at two. C goes from negative to positive. I is going from negative to positive. And L is going from negative to positive. All of them at two, okay? So that means that it's a minimum. All right, number eight says we're looking for where the original graph would have a point of inflection at two, okay? So point of inflection is when you're looking at the derivative graph, you're looking for it to change from increase to decrease or decrease to increase, okay? Either one. All right, so if you look at E, it went from decreasing to increasing at two. F went from increasing to decreasing, okay? G went from increase to decrease, and H went from decrease to increase, okay? So if you notice, all these are basically like a max or min on the derivative, so it's going to match up to an inflection point on the second derivative. All right, number nine says the graph is increasing on zero, two, but it's decreasing on two, four. Okay, so you're looking for where the derivative is gonna be positive on zero, two, but negative on two to four. All right, the only ones that do that are B and D. So positive from zero to two, negative from two to four. Okay, 10 says you're looking for where g of x is concave up on zero two and concave down on two four. So this one, you're looking for where the graph would be increasing on zero two and decreasing on two to four. So the only two that do that are f and g. So it's increasing from zero to two, decreasing from two to four, increase then decrease. All right, number 11 says you're looking for where the graphs where it has no extrema, where the original function would have no extrema, okay? So basically you're looking for all the graphs where they don't cross the x-axis, so there's no like changing sign. So any graph that doesn't do that. So for example, 
E doesn't do that, even though it touches it, but it doesn't actually go across it. So E, F, G, H, J, and K are all those. All right. And then let's look at number 12. All right, and so this one's looking for ones that have no point of inflection. So basically you're looking for ones where the derivative doesn't have any extrema. So A and B and C don't have extrema. D doesn't have an extrema. I doesn't. And J or K. All right, so I'm going to start another video for the next part so this one doesn't get too long.